The Knicks ready to enjoy that one-of-a-kind New York home court advantage. Coming into the building earlier tonight. Greetings, everyone. You've got it live on Tuesday night coverage of the NBA on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan, along with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry, our terrific analysts, and David Aldridge is our sideline reporter. And a look at the starters for the Hornets. Up of the forward spot, it's Hayward and Bridges. Miller is out there with LaMelo Ball, and it's Richards in at the center. And for the Knicks, Randall will step in at the four with Robinson as the center. Jalen Brunson out there with Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Ananobi in at the three spot. Here we are, Greg, getting into the thick of this NBA season. How big of a challenge now is the travel? Oh, it's a huge one. Uh, the reality is all those flights take a toll, so... Gotta be smart with your sleep schedule and recovery. Now here's Brunson. An absolute pound. From Three-point range. Brunson's got the game going here with the first basket for the Knicks. Here's Miller, and it's Miller with the jam. And this is what you like about Miller. He has great range from three, but he can also make tough shots in traffic. Brunson finds DiVincenzo. to the middle. Here's Ananobi and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Well, the last time GA the Hornets made the playoffs was back in 2016. 
And that was during Steve Clifford's first stint with the organization. I'm sure that played a factor in their decision to bring him back as head coach. That's good from Ananobi. So after making the first, he goes one for two. Outside, ball. Dishes it to Hayward. Randall grabs the board. And the Knicks with possession. And Anobi finds DiVincenzo. And here's Randall. The jump hook. Gordon Hayward comes up with the rebound. Pass to Richards. Top of the key ball. And ball slams it in. Get up, LaMelo. These ball brothers can fly. Even Genzo against Miller. Randall right side. Nailed from three-point land. When he's hitting that shot, this offense becomes scary, even more difficult to defend. Yeah, no question. When he is connecting from those kind of spots on the floor, it is just a huge boost for what they can do offensively. So it's the Hornets now, following Julius Randle's three. Five to shoot. Three-pointer. Hayward. Good. And Miller gets the assist. Offense clicking early here. Three for four to start this one. Miller against Steven Chenzo. Pass to Randall. Shoots over Bridges. Randall no good. We'll have a hard time shaking that one off. Perfect position. Plenty of space. Just clanked it. Good. And the concentration there from Miller. Not phased at all by the contact. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Runs in the pass to Randall. And the call will be against Julius Randall. That is his first foul of the game. Yeah, way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. For the Hornets, they come into this one following a loss to the Magic in Orlando. Ball feeling it out a bit. And Ball is a proven distributor. He's got a real talent for spotting the cracks in the deep. Knicks trail by four. And the official signal the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. Looking now at some numbers for Mitchell Robinson. In the last five games, you can see the trend upwards for effective field goal percentage. And it shows you how confident he's playing right now. Things really clicking for him at the offensive end. They're making good decisions, not wasting these opportunities. Oh, just an impressive dunker of the basketball. I love how Bridges just takes the initiative and gets funky with his throwdown. Now here's Randall. He's an offensive force, averaging nearly 26 points a game. And stolen by Miller. They were on the wing to the inside. Here's Bridges. Randall grabs the board. The Knicks have gone two for four from the field so far today. They need this. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Last game matched up with the Magic. A tough loss there. And that was a game to forget. You'd like to find some teachable moments, but I think they'd like to just turn the page and move forward. Yeah, and quick, like, like as quick as possible. That was a dismal showing, especially for them at the offensive end. And the Knicks decide to take their first time out here. 
And Coach can't be happy, and, and I think I know why. Their defense putting up no resistance inside. No, they're not preventing them from scoring, and if you can get to a high-efficiency shot on the floor, and that's the paint, you just keep going. a chance to check out stats for DiVincenzo. He's been a factor for them over the last month. Averaging about 15 points, six assists, and three rebounds. And he really anchors them defensively with that tenacious play on that side of the ball. He loves to get up into the uniform of his opposition and make you work for everything that you get offensively. I love the ball movement there. He put that on a silver platter. Just served him up. And Brent, how about this Mitchell Robinson kid? His work ethic inside, impressive. He's so dominant, Greg, on the inside. He's got that reach, able to go up and bother shots. He, he also led the league in field goal percentage in just his second year, so he knows where it is he's going to eat. Don't be surprised if he does that again. Defensively, giving up far too many open rhythm looks. Brunson kicks to Ananobi. over Hayward and there's another one for the Knicks and it's crucial that Ananobi knocks down that jumper showing how skilled he is from the perimeter here's Bridges up and in off to an efficient start two for three from the field this is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball Munson with it Bridges covering Randall from outside Hornets with the rebound. And there hasn't been anything easy for him in this period. No, I haven't seen him in, in comfortable spots or at least spots we've seen in this offensive set that are allowing him to settle in. Cody Martin, he's checked in for Gordon Hayward. Brunson scanning the floor. Count the basket. Brunson's got five. And those are two points earned by Jalen Brunson. Passes it to Martin. Bridges outside. Here's the pass to Richards. The offensive rebound. Knicks trail by eight. Got a piece of it. Stolen by Ball. Launches it from deep. That one's off. He's now one for two. And so Ananobi will bring it up for the Knicks. This game matchup with the Suns, a, a tough loss there. Yeah, you, you saw the communication breakdowns defensively. Just giving up way too many open looks. Yeah, sometimes you can play good on-ball defense, but it's the help defense that makes you elite. And on that night, nobody rotating and not a lot of help. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for Charlotte. Absolutely dialed in from beyond the arc so far in this one. The defense is surrendering the long-range shot here early on. Well, a lot of the players are doing a good job as well of scanning the interior part of the paint. All those inside looks, those are paying off. And he makes the first. Greg, you spent your first four seasons playing in New York. What's that like? When the Knicks are winning, Kevin, there is no place you'd rather be. The fans are incredibly smart, loyal, and they'll treat you like a king. 
but no doubt that media pressure is for real. Both good from the line that time. You know, Greg, if you look back at the Hornets 22-23 season, there was a lot of adversity. And that was a tough season for them all around. So many injuries. A lot of young players were forced into bigger roles, but they did get valuable experience out of it. This quarter belongs to them, and that's how you do it when you're out in front. Don't play it safe. Keep that momentum going. New York takes time out. Last time they came together was in Charlotte, where they fell to the Hornets. Yeah, and their last time out against this club, turnovers really did them in. Just way too many mistakes. Yeah, that had to have been number one priority for the coaching staff coming into this one, limiting those turnovers and making sure they don't beat themselves this time. And New York making a change here. Hartenstein's checked in. And a switcher also for Charlotte. Rogier's checked in. Hart the pass to Achua. And looks that's like green. the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Uh, that's going to draw a whistle every time down the floor. Not even close to being a legal screen. Yeah, everybody saw that one. That was pretty blatant there. Hornets leading by nine. Pass to Richards. Ball against Brunson. Ball kicks to Rozier. It's good. The assist that time from Ball. Ball's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Pass to Hartenstein. Ball with the rebound. Bridges up top. Brunson covering. Bridges passes to Richards. Marvelous lead pass, and he throws it down. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. Well, if there were four or five boxes to check in terms of the game plan tonight, they might have checked six. I mean, they're doing everything out there. Now, here's Hart. Nothing on the board. Here's Grimes. And just miss after miss right now. Here are the Hornets with the ball. It's a 14-point game. There's Ball with the three. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Brunson the bounce pass. Grimes passes to Brunson. Now here's Hart. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. Defense making it difficult for Hart, but he stays tough and gets his shot. Brunson against Ball. The kick out to Rogier. Shot clock at five. Top of the key jumper, no good. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Bridges, and it's slammed in by Bridges. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. Like tonight, that all the hustle plays have meant so much to this team. Now just sustain some of that energy and keep comfortable. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. So Charlotte calls timeout. They're first. You know, Brent, most nights we see Grimes expend a ton of energy out there, and it is terrific. Yeah, he's asked to do a lot of different things, and he's got to provide that pop on the perimeter. And then he often draws the hardest defensive assignment at the other end. So this guy is becoming more complete. Nilakina, he's checked in for Charlotte. New York on D. They trail by 11. Bridges kicks to Nilakina. The kick out to Rogier. And the Hornets miss again. I'm not sure how he finds himself in so much space there. He's kicking himself for whiffing a bit on that one. Now here's Brunson. He's guarded closer. 11 feet away. And it's off the back rim. No good. 
Yeah, my expectations were that he was not going to miss that one. <laughs> he handles that kind of defense, especially on the inside. One fifty-eight left to play in the first quarter. Neely Kina passes to Bridges, and it's Grimes with the rebound. Yeah, it's pretty much the only way to keep him from taking advantage of you down low. You got to play tough, physical defense. Hart, that's good. Yeah, that's two straight three-pointers they've allowed. And here's Rogier. He brings it up for the Hornets. They're leading by eight. In the corner, it's Martin. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. Uh, beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Got to hold firm or you're going to get a call. For New York, they've gone 8 of 15 from the field, shooting above 50% here tonight. Here's a chew up. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And of course, we'd all like to see his percentage at the line improve, but he just does not have the touch right now. He's in the 60s. And the Hornets making a change here. Smith has checked in. And for a team in the NBA's biggest market, Brent, amazing that it's been five-plus decades since the Knicks' last title. Right, that's unbelievable. I mean, they've been close a couple times, but that has not been in recent history, Kevin, as you know. We've had a lot of great players, but, man, it just shows you how hard it is to win in this league. Passes it to Brunson. The 11-footer. Here's Hartenstein, uses the glass to finish the layup. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Rozier with the ball. Last game we saw him score 32. They get it back. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And the Hornets lead by seven. That is really good work there on the offensive glass. Here's Grimes, covered by Martin. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Rozier against Hart. And it's Rozier again missing. The pass to Achua. Four seconds left. That falls. Nice feed that time from Brunson. Brunson's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Oh, we've seen some great shots in the first quarter. No shortage of offense. When it's ahead, up by five. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in just a moment. For those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And let's quickly break down the game, guys. We've been watching from the Hornets. Well, look at the turnover ratio, then look at the score. Easy to see what happened in that first period. Yeah, hopefully the opposition can recover because that first quarter defensively was unbelievable. Just crippling defense. Charlotte leading by five. Randall will step in at the four with Robinson as the center. Then there's Dante DiVincenzo. Then it's OG Ananobi. And it's Grimes in at the point. They're the group New York will start the second round. Now DiVincenzo. After Terry Rozier's three-pointer that didn't go. Ananobi passes to Robinson. And he uses the glass on the layup. Robinson's got six. Some footwork and some finesse from Mitchell Robinson. Here's Rogier. Smith left side. Yep, it counts. 
Smith's got his first bucket of the night. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. Inside, here's Rump. There he goes! You don't want to be jumping on a play like that. No. Wow, he was up there, <laughs> Kevin. It feels like Mitchell Robinson doesn't even have to jump sometimes to dunk, but man, a little showmanship from the big fella. Here's Rozier off with the layup. Knicks trailed by three. Here's Randall. And that one drops for him. He's got five. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. What do you got for us, D.A.? Thank you very much. The Hornets want to play with tempo. Coach Steve Clifford said offense starts with playing through the strengths of your best players. And Mello Ball is a great talent with a passion for the game and a flair for playing in the open court. We want to take advantage of that. Kevin? Yeah, makes sense. David, thanks. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Ozier looking around, lays it up and banks it in. Ozier's got four this quarter. For Rozier to be effective, that's just what he has to do. Keep moving, don't sit back and be passive. DiVincenzo passes to Grimes. Pass to Ananobi for three. The rebound by Richards. Richards got his fifth rebound in this one. Hayward goes in, shoots over Ananobi. Hayward can't hit. Knicks trail by three. Here's Robinson, and he banks in the layup. Robinson's got ten points in the game. And a big concern for players and coaches is the consistency of officiating. Greg, do you like that argument? It's tough when one night something is a foul and the next night it isn't. There's some gray area, obviously. And it'd be good for the league to try and clarify how they want things called. And some changes here for the Hornets. Bridges is checked in for Nick Richards. And it's ball in for Smith. Outside, ball. And ball slams it in. Gives the team such a great element, having a one guard who can get to the 10. Uh, certainly something every team wants to have. Like to see that assertiveness, especially from the guy who's going to orchestrate your offense. Now Rogier, following the miss by Julius Randle from deep. Now, here's Bridges, guarded close. Rozier kicks the ball. Just three to shoot. Let's go. And he drops that one in. And it's a five-point Charlotte lead. And we knew LaMelo was talented coming into the league. What we didn't quite know was how much of an impact he would make in terms of controlling the flow of the game. Here's Grimes, who's averaging around five and a half points a game. Here's Randall, and again, it's New York. Now, ball. Miller outside, lets it go from deep. Robinson pulls it in. Didn't hesitate for a second to get a hand up on that deep ball. Yeah, you gotta like how he hustled to guard out on the perimeter, definitely respecting the shooting ability. Here's Grimes. Back to Robinson. Eight feet away. It's rebounded by Charlotte. He may not be the strongest inside presence in the league, but still, he's got to convert from there. And it's slammed in by Bridges. Good anticipation from this crafty wingman. Bridges enjoys taking chances and going for the alley-oop. We always see Terry Rozier going all out, don't we, Greg, to make an impact offensively. Kevin, I just love the way his offensive repertoire has evolved over the years. This guy came in as just a hard-nosed, tough defender, but, boy, offensively, his skill set and development on that end is off the charts. And Hayward gets it to go. That makes it 10 of their last 12 coming from inside the paint. Here's Grimes. 
pass to on an open. Feeds to Randall. Robinson passes to DiVincenzo. Good, and the assist goes to Robinson. DiVincenzo's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Outside, ball. Now the dish to Miller. Back to ball. And there's the drive. That shot off the mark. Next trail by four. Robinson passes to Grimes. Back to Robinson. Shoots over ball. Robinson misses. For Charlotte, they've gotten seven of their 12 field goal attempts to drop here in the second quarter. Up over 50%. The kick out to Rogier. Tries from 16. It's rebounded by New York. Not his best night from the field, but looking for other ways and finding them so he can chip in. Randall passes to on and open. That one falls, his second basket of the game. He's now two for three. And here's Ball. He'll bring it up for the Charlotte Hornets. Hayward outside, pulls it up. Score the basket, his third after five shots. And that's a nice decision on Hayward's part. Good timing on the pass, and he doesn't want to waste an opportunity to bury the jumper. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. Well, they've been turning that ball over way too much, and they really need to address this if they want to win this game. Huddle up, boys. So both teams making some changes here. While we're in the quick break, let's show you the list of the hottest shooting rookies in the NBA this year. Brandon Miller is number one. And the numbers say it all. I mean, he's tremendously efficient at scoring the basketball around the rim. He, he's almost automatic. Runs in the pass to DiVincenzo. No good from outside. Hornets leading by four. Here's Ball, and Ball slams it in. And not just the score. Miller can dish it as well, showing great vision on that play. Here's Brunson. Got it. And he's now three for five from the field. One of the more skilled offensive players that is on the floor here tonight. Not an easy fella to hold in check. Bridges finds Hayward. And the basket for the fourth time from the field. He's a healthy four for six. Their interior has been inferior defensively. It has got to tighten up. Here's Brunson. That's good, and it's his fourth basket of the game. He's a strong four for six. Brunson sizing up the defense and really good at operating in the pick and roll. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Ajua, no good. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Miller inside, defended by Hart. Here's Hayward. That's another one for him. His fifth in just seven shots. Guys, his consistency in terms of shooting has really helped them seize control. Right side, Robinson. Miller grabs the miss. Hornets leading by six. Down low. Here's Hayward. And Hayward with the stuff. And right now, Hayward is in his element. Once he gets cooking, keep feeding that man. To the paint. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Brunson's got 11. And boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. Now, here's Hart. After Gordon Hayward's miss, basket counts. Now, just a four-point Hornets lead. 
That's a difficult spot for defenders against Josh Hart. They're guarding against the drive or the perimeter shot. And he'll hit him from the mid-range. Shots good by Miller. And, and let's see, guys, if that triggers another little explosion from him after hitting three triples in that first quarter. And here is DiVincenzo. He's coming off a 10-point game against Phoenix. And for DiVincenzo coming into the league wanting to prove that he belongs, he's done more than that. It's about building his confidence now. The Knicks shooting their sixth and seventh free throw attempts tonight. And as a team, really just middle of the pack in terms of their percentage from the line at about 76. Throw drops for DiVincenzo. Hartenstein's checked in for New York. The Hornets also changing it up. Nick Richards, he's checked in for Miles Bridges. And it's Ish Smith in for Ball. And so DiVincenzo nails both of them. And so it's Smith with it. He'll bring it up for the Hornets. They've led by as many as 14 points. They'll be off to Brooklyn for a meeting with the Nets after this one. That'll be the last game of their very short three-game road tour. Now here's DiVincenzo. Five points in the game. And stolen by Hayward. Passes to Miller. The basket good off the assist from Hayward. 18 points from Brandon Miller. And when Brandon Miller puts it all together, he is going to be a problem. Here's Hartenstein. Goes up high for the two-handed dunk. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Yeah, why well, settle for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that? And he's got his first chance at the line here. And here we look at Hartenstein. He can do a little bit of everything for you. Hartenstein, probably the biggest skill he has that I see often is the playmaking ability. So he'll rebound and be physical, but all of a sudden, sneak a pass in there with a great assist. Terrific job by Smith to dish that one off to his open teammate right there. Knicks trail by six. There's the pass to Hartenstein. With the teardrop, that one goes in. Hartenstein's got five points now this quarter. Charlotte's gotten the three-point bug tonight. They've taken 15 shots outside the arc. Six of 15. 52 seconds left to play in the first half. Martin against Hart. Martin inside. Rebounded by Hart. Hart's got four rebounds now tonight. Brunson, good for another bucket. He's made half a dozen now, six for eight on the night. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Hayward, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Putting defenders in tough spots is a trait of Hayward's game. I mean, he gets his man on the back foot and forces him to either foul or give up the easy one. The Hornets shooting their first free throws of the night. And typically, a strength of their 79% on the season. And the first one at the line is good. And how about the winning mindset Hayward brings to this team? He's done it at every level, just goes out and competes.
Hayward hits them both. Knicks trail by four. And really the smart thing would be to hold for the last shot. Every second right now is valuable to you. That should be their strategy. Pass to Brunson. Got him with the pump fake, but couldn't finish. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Hornet. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, basketball fans. What a pleasure it is to bring you into the 2K studios again. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Charlotte had no problems getting going, jumping on every opportunity to push the tempo. At one point, they had built a 14-point advantage. As the first quarter came to a close, however, they found themselves up by just four. Going into the second quarter, they lost a little focus, sacrificed some points, but still finished with a four-point cushion at the half. Kenny, your thoughts on the Hornets' first half? Efficiency. You know, I think that's big. That's a key to success. you got to protect the basketball. You can't make those risky passes that lead to highlight film dunks. So I thought it was a great job. Shaq, what did you think about New York? Hard to feel happy when your opponent's shooting over 60%. They're going to have to make things harder for those guys defensively. Force them out of their comfort zone. Contest every shot. And it's just about time now for the third quarter to get underway. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. Brandon Miller has been sensational. Yeah, and through the first two quarters, he has been the offense for this team. Yeah, he's, he's shouldering the load right now and looking really comfortable while he's doing it. Charlotte leading by four. And Charlotte looking at who they've got. We've got Ish Smith. Nick Richards out there with Miles Bridges. Then there's LaMelo Ball. And it's Miller in at the shooting guard position. And he's really a smart offensive player. You have to respect Ball's strong sense for when to take that jump. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Thanks, Kevin. Brandon Miller was a one-and-done in Alabama. He put on numbers and put on weight. He said, coming into college, I couldn't really take bumps, at least not college bumps. I know building muscle mass is key, and he's not done adding muscle and layers to his game. He says it's all about the work. That's the only way you get better. That's great. Kevin? That's a good focus. Thanks, D.A. Uh, that's going to draw a whistle every time down the floor, not even close to being a legal screen. Yeah, everybody saw that one. That was pretty blatant there. Gordon Hayward's checked in for Ish Smith. It's Miller on the wing. Defended by DiVincenzo. Out to Hayward. Driving to the basket. Bridges, no one around him. The basket good off the assist from Hayward. Bridges has got 11. They're capable of scorching you from the perimeter. When Bridges has a great look, he takes it back. And with that, the Hornet lead is cut down now to just seven on the bucket from Brunson. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Well, just ripping through right there as he, he finds the open spot and gets right through there. High basketball IQ play. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. He's gone two for two at the line so far. trailed by nine here's Randall laid in with a nice touch off the glass 11 points in the game 
Yeah, Randall does a good job. His frame alone helps to create some space just with a little pivot there, able to find a way to score. Ball dishes to Bridges. Back to Ball. And the call will be against Romello Ball. That is his first foul of the game. Yeah, really good defensive play to cut him off there and square up. New York's gone five of nine when they put up the three-point shot tonight. Even Genzo against Miller. And Brunson has it in the corner. 13 feet away. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. Hayward's got four rebounds in this game. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Here's Bridges. Here's Richards. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. You don't want to ever give up points on the boards. That's the lesson for the team there. That's a hustle play to save points. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And here's Brunson. He'll bring it up for the New York Knicks. It's a 10-point game. And at home for the next game, it'll be Detroit pulling into town. That will complete this four-game homestand. Robinson, that's good. Robinson is very fluid as a big, and he comes off that pick ready to shoot. Here's Ball. Even Genzo against Miller. Ball, the pass to Hayward. Whistle blows, basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. And I would not be surprised to see them double him up here. The Hornets have gone three of four at the free throw line tonight. The Knicks making a switch here. Grimes is checked in. And a switch here also for Charlotte. Rozier, he's checked in for ball. Free throw good from Hayward. Knicks trailed by 11. Here's Grimes. Brunson with a clean look. Good on the triple. Brunson's got five points now in the quarter. Now, not a big part of Brunson's game behind the line, but we can knock him down. And we have really watched Jalen Brunson come into his own, playing at a higher level. Well, it's unbelievable, Greg, that he just had that spark here in Dallas and that that has triggered what it is we get from Jalen Brunson on a nightly basis. Respected for his toughness, his offensive game is growing. Now here's Hayward following the miss by Julius Randle. Hayward passes to Richards, and he goes up strong with one hand and flushes it down. And really exemplifies who Hayward is, a team player, someone who enjoys spotting his open teammate. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. And Greg, one of the finer points of the new collective bargaining agreement, players in the G League Ignite or overseas no longer automatically entering the NBA draft when they turn 19. Yeah, it, it makes sense. You think about players in college, they choose when to enter the draft. So only right to give pros that same amount of time. Yeah, Randall's not passing that one up. Fantastic job at converting when he's got the kind of position like that. Miller surveying the floor. Hayward outside. Just four to shoot. Off target. That was a little heat check. Knicks trail by eight. To the middle. Here's Randall. And Randall throws it down. Uh, Randall with a great effort there, up and athletic and at the rim. Other inside, runs and covering, bricks the aggressive dunk attempt. Here's Grimes, Rogier defending, lays it up off the glass. And now just a four-point Charlotte lead. 
for Charlotte. They've gone a solid 6 of 11 when shooting here in the third quarter. Now here is Miller. Not a lot of room. Out to Hayward. Pull from the top of the key. It's rebounded by Brunson. Well, maybe not the best shot against that kind of defense, but he still has the ability to knock that kind of shot down. It's good. Beautiful job closing the gap here. Let's see if they can sustain this run. Well, they've shown both effort and will to get back into this one, but can they finish this one off? Can't let up now. Here's Rozier. Jalen Brunson picking up that last basket. Bridges outside. Driving the lane. That's what a star talent does. If Bridges wants to fulfill his potential, he's got to attack. Use that quick first step. Here's Brunson. That one finds the mark. It's the 10th time he's done that tonight on 14 shots. And whatever intensity was lacking there in the first half, you're seeing it on display here now. You asked for those hustle plays earlier in the game. We're seeing them now. Charlotte calls timeout. We know they like having Brunson out there, Greg, a player they can run the entire offense through. No doubt. And he can be trusted on to take the keys and just run things effectively. He keeps mistakes to a minimum, and he's a solid creator for his teammates. Josh Hart, he's checked in for Robinson. Martin's checked in for the Hornets. The shot's good. Miller's got 20 points. Now how about this move by Miller, using the pick and roll to create some space for himself? Brunson against Rogier. Pass to Hart. Hornets with the rebound. They've led by as many as 14 points. Here's Rogier, and oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. And Rozier is not one to be afraid to take things into his own hands. He'll get inside and get physical when he has to, even if it means taking on the contact. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for Charlotte. I think they put an emphasis on attacking the basket. And watching this, you can see why. They have just carved the defense up here with relative ease. Well, they've been fantastic tonight, really enforcing giveaways and getting scores on the other end. I mean, you get a few more possessions like that, the confidence grows, and you win that turnover battle. You know, and every year, it just seems like Rozier gets better. You, you see his drive, the hunger, the desire to keep improving. Catching up on the changes for New York, Hartenstein comes in for Randall. And it's Achua in for OG Ananobi. And a switcher also for Charlotte. Neil Aquino's checked in. And both free throws good for Rogier. And so here is New York. They trail by six. Here's Grimes. He's got five. And they pick up two. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. Rogier finds Richards. Puts up a deep three. And it's Rogier missing. And so it's Hart who brings up the ball for New York. Now here's Brunson. 22 points for him. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Now just a two-point Hornets lead. Charlotte has gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Rogier the pass to Richards. Martin kicks to Rogier. To the left wing. Here's Richards. That's good. And it's Rogier with the assist. Richards got seven points here in this quarter. New York's gone six of ten from three-point range, up over 50% for the ball game. Hayward against Brunson. And the basket is good. Brunson's got 26 points. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Bounce pass from Rogier. Here's Nilakina. This is it to Richards. Here's Nilakina. Bucket six. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three point play. 
Well that helps Neil Aquino's confidence when he can score like that against very very strong defense. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. and working their way to the line here in the second half. Knicks trailed by five. Brunson with it. 26 points for him. And the layup's good off the glass. Brunson's got 15 points here in the second half. Charlotte has gone outside a lot tonight. 17 times, in fact. Seven of 17. Here's Hayward. It's rebounded by Hartenstein. New York shooting has been just fantastic around 65% tonight, getting exactly what they want when they want it. And he makes that one. As much as you like Jalen Brunson, he believes in himself more than you do. Confidence translated. The pass to Martin. Pass to Nilakina. On the wing, Rogier. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Rogier's got five points in the quarter. Nilakina sensing when one of his guys was not covered, and then he found him. Here's Grimes. And a moment now to check out some of the numbers for Rogier. He's putting up about 20 points per game, five assists, and two rebounds. They're loving how he's running the show here. His sensational passing really breathing life into their offense something in the coach's playbook here where the schemes fire on all cylinders when he is in the game a great conduit for them offensively he knows where everyone is at all times first free throw is good Dante DiVincenzo he's checked in for Hartenstein one falls so he hits both of them Charlotte in the lead Rozier up top runs in covering pass to Richards back to Rozier six to shoot passes to Nilekina tries a three that's good and it's Rozier with the assist Neil Aquino's got his second basket of the night. I like the decision to just rise up and fire. Neil Aquino showing a confident play there. Here's Brunson. Softly drops in the floater. This is a one-man show right now. He's on a mission to get him out of this hole. Hornets leading by three. Rogier the pass to Hayward. Kicks to Martin. No one near Rogier as he lets it fly. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. More good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might tell the story in this game. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Neely Kina looking it over. 14 feet away. A shot that time, not on target. New York's gone 6 of 10 from three-point range, up over 50% for the ball game. Count that bucket. Putting the speed to work that time. Hart is flying down the lane. And so it's Hayward with it. He'll bring it up for the Charlotte Hornets. Down low. Here's Martin. And finished off by Martin. Very little resistance against that throwdown. Nope. Not what they want to see in a game this close, Greg. On one side, inspiration. On the other, devastation. An emphatic LU jam. Wow. Hart really getting up for that lob. Here's Nilakina, defended by Hart, and good that time. Nilakina's got eight here in the quarter. Third quarter here, and five lead changes so far. And guys, neither team has been able to pull away. To the inside. The shot's good from DiVincenzo. And the Knicks lead by one. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. 
The pass to Nilekina. We've got 22 seconds left to play here in the third. Here's Richards. He Vincenzo with the rebound. The Knicks shooting is scorching 68% in the game. Yep, that one goes in there. And it's a three-point Knicks lead. And sometimes the simplest play is the best one. DiVincenzo made it. Rogier for three. The shot misses. He got it up. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. Jalen Brunson has been on display for the Knicks. They kept going to him again and again. And he delivered with a monster quarter. We've got more in store for you right after this. And let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. And just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? Yeah, those are the kind of plays that you want to put on a canvas. Just beautiful basketball. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. Randall will step in at the four with Robinson as the center. Jalen Brunson out there with Dante DiVincenzo. And it's on an OB in at the three, the small four. That's the five for New York right now. And boy, have they been hitting the backboard in this game or what? Kind of surprising it's such a tight game. Ball kicks to Miller. Back to Ball. Over in the corner, Rogier. They get the rebound. Bridges. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. You just can't teach that size. Bridges has the wingspan, those broad shoulders. Just a tremendous rebounder for a wing. And here's Steven Genzo from the arc. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Looking to get back on track here. And it's laid in by Rogier. And we continue to see Rozier taking on more responsibility offensively. Nice finish inside. Runs in the pass to on and over. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's going to be on Brandon Miller. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Knicks. I like this throwback approach they're taking, looking to score high percentage shots in the paint. And so far, it's working. And they've also done a great job of just taking what the defense is giving them. Teams willing to give up a mid-range, take them, knock them down. They've done it. The first one falls. on the second so he makes them both and if they continue Kevin their outstanding free throw shooting that'll help them seal the deal here's ball and a lot of contact on that one so he'll shoot two here that's on Jalen Brunson yeah I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second despite being down And he knocks down the first one. Taken third overall in 2020. LaMelo Ball is a unique player. Like his brother Lonzo, very tall at the point at 6'6", and he'd much rather pass it than shoot it. Smith checked in for the Hornets. Ball hits them both. And that's the norm for him. He's pretty much automatic when he's at the line. 
Brunson against Ball. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul. Shot misses. He'll be shooting two. You know, Brunson's a little smaller guard, but he'll get in there and tussle with the big boys. First free throw is good. Just really impressed with the player that Jalen Brunson has become in the NBA. He has mastered the fundamentals. And so he makes both from the line. Here's Ball. Bridges outside. Pass to Miller. All sorts of time. Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that time. Smith's got three assists now in this one. And nice mechanics from Miller there. Ready to fire as that pass is coming. Now here is Robinson. Back to Brunson. Shot clock at six. Over ball. New York, no good that time either. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests, and that's just enough. Now, here's Bridges. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. Randall, no good. Yeah, the three-pointer has not been his weapon in this one. He had one in the first quarter and still zero here in the second. To take the lead, Miller, no up. The Knicks with the lead. Now DiVincenzo. Pass to Brunson. Back to DiVincenzo. Buries the long-range jumper. Well, you want to chase him off the three-point line. DiVincenzo able to settle in that time. And the Hornets right call time here. One guy who's been getting it done is Jalen Brunson. Well, I hope this one is not to draw up a play, but to think about how they're going to defend that man. He's putting up some major numbers. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Well, I was able to listen in on what Steve Clifford had to say to his team. Now, he talked about keeping confidence. He said, this game is close, but we know we're the better team. Now it's time to go out there and prove it. See if they can come back in this one, guys. Thank you, David. Now, here's Ball. Bridges outside. Yes, indeed, it is good. He's now 8 for 14. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full of that. And they call an illegal screen here. With the turnover total in the first half, only one, but a totally different story here in the second. Charlotte trailing. Passes it to Bridges. And play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. Uh, beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Got to hold firm or you're going to get a call. New York's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. And the shot is good. Brunson's got 40 points. He's played a huge role in this game to this point, but it looks like he just wants more. He wants to make sure that this lead holds up. Bridges outside. To the paint. Richards finds Bridges. Lock at six. DiVincenzo with the rebound. DiVincenzo's got his fifth rebound in this one. And the pass to Brunson. Stolen by Ball. <laughs> and 
And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. That's on Jalen Brunson. And with all that LaMelo does on the floor, Ball is one of the most difficult guys to guard in the league. And the first one drops. Ball hits them both. And here's Brunson. Puts up a deep three. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Bridges has got his seventh rebound here tonight. Here's Ball. A shot goes down and it gets this game back to even. Looking poised on the finish. Ball is a problem when he's knocking that down. Ball against Brunson. And it's blocked. It's Miller on the wing. He's guarded by Ananobi. The Knicks have gotten only three of their nine field goal attempts to go down since the end of the third. Pretty cold down the stretch. Here's Brunson. Drops it in from 11 feet. Brunson's got 42 in the game. No, oh, it's scary because he's just been a matchup nightmare in this game. He's eaten up anybody they've thrown at him. Smith the pass to Richards and he jams it with authority and there are only a few players in the league who can hit a teammate like that in stride beautiful assist Brunson against ball now here's Randall defense right on him pass to Ananobi puts up a deep three rebound by Smith and so it's Smith with it. He'll bring it up for the Charlotte Hornets. He kicks to Bridges. Six to shoot. And it's Miller in the corner. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. Well, he was terrific in the first half, guys. Maybe some adjustments from the opposing team coach. And he's lost a little bit of that touch here in the second. And that's about the worst defense I can imagine a team playing coming down the stretch. Well, I hope there's one player on that team out there that has interest in winning this game. Right now, it doesn't look to be one. Just sticking with it there. Ball's rebounding is so important to this team. Brunson against Ball. And the call will be against Lamelo Ball. Side out. That's his third foul of the game. And now only one away from being in the penalty. Hard, he's checked in for New York. Gordon Hayward's checked in for the Hornets. Here's Brunson. And he lays it straight in. Brunson's got 46 points. He doesn't look satisfied with the lead right now. He wants more, and he looks like he's going to get it. Outside, ball. Pass to Richards. Now Miller. Picks it to ball to take the lead. That's in, coming off an assist from Miller. Miller's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Now here's Randall. A floater. He gets that one. And the Knicks lead by one. Well, using some serious moves and lateral quickness, that gets him right past the defense. Julius Randle with a nice move. Brunson against Ball. Hayward looking over the floor. The feet to Bridges. And he uses the glass on the layup. Bridges has got six in the quarter. 
You know, that basket must be widening out right now. And he's making almost every shot he's putting up this quarter. Outside for Randall. And it's blocked. Bridges against Brunson. And Bridges jams it in. A dangerous score from just about every area. Bridges very good at capitalizing in a number of ways. Passes it to DiVincenzo. And Hart has it in the corner. Over in the corner, Randall. Just five to shoot. The shot will not fall. He's not very hard to defend right now. This is when the defense might step back and let him try to find his range. Here's Ball. The Knicks pull it in. Robinson's got seven rebounds in the game. Now the pass to DiVincenzo. Back to Robinson. The rebound by LaMelo Ball. Ball's got five rebounds tonight. Shoots over Brunson. That one rolling around and rims out. Knicks trail by three. On the wing, DiVincenzo. Covered by Miller. He lacks defense there. He's going to see fewer and fewer chances if he can't bury those kind of jumpers. The ball with the bucket. And that is a big-time basket. LaMelo entered the league at 19 with such high expectations. This young man ball is used to the spotlight. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. And he could tell his guys starting to wear down a little bit. Call time to just let them get their legs back under them. present our New Balance player of the game, LaMelo Ball. Plain and simple, his scoring is what made him our pick tonight. Even when the D's given him all their attention, they just have not been able to contain him. If they backed off him for one second, he made them pay. Knicks trail by five. One fifty-seven left in the fourth quarter. Wasted no time on that one. Even Genzo's got nine points here in the second half. And here's Ball. He'll bring it up for the Hornets. They've led by as many as 14 points. Yes, that goes in. And the Hornets lead by five. Really hard to count how many of their possessions have ended just like that one with one of his shots falling. In a crucial moment, too. He's been doing that all night. No one's come close to stopping him. Here's Brunson, and the shot is long. Charlotte's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. The shot's good from Gordon Hayward. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Well, pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. Drops the first one, and that narrows the gap to seven. That 
That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Nice work there. This is a point in the game where if you get a chance to close the gap, you've got to make the most of it. Brunson against Ball. And the wing jumper offline. Knicks trail by six. This is a do-or-die possession. They have got to get points. And you can't make any mistakes right here if you want to keep hope alive. Their execution has to be precise. Here's Hart. Good! And now they trail by just four. Gritty play by a gritty player, Josh Hart. Hard to deny it. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal That's screen. Great. When a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, you have to blow the whistle. Yeah, a quick little lean like that is going to get the ref's attention. Foul call. Now here's Brunson. The rebound by Richard. And so they choose to intentionally foul. And Ball gets double team. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. And the Hornets with possession here. And now we've got the intentional foul. first and that puts them up by five yeah and the confidence bridges plays with really admirable this guy knows he has the talent to compete in the nba so he gets them both and it's a six point ball game and the lead getting safer and safer as these free throws from the stripe go in new york calls timeout they're trailing by six 29 seconds left to play here in the fourth Nine seconds left in the fourth quarter. Offensive rebound from Spaz Robinson. And the wide open shot from DiVincenzo. And another shot. Good! Look, if you're going to be on the floor in these moments, you've got to be ready. And Dante was. And an intentional foul there stops the clock. Honestly, just doing what they have to in order to get the basketball back. Gets the first. That puts them up by five. Second one is good. Hitting both at the line, and it's a six-point ball game. And Miller reminds some of a young Paul George, a six-foot-nine athletic forward with great upside. Eleven seconds left in the fourth quarter, and they stop the clock as soon as they can with the intentional foul. free throw is good and that puts them up by five and so both free throws are good and it's a six point ball game Ooh, I think that's a wrap and I can tell you you can't have more pressure packed free throws than the ones that are going to seal the game this is the deep three point attempt didn't hesitate for a second to get a hand up on that deep ball. Yeah, you got to like how he hustled the guard out on the perimeter, definitely respecting the shooting ability. And so it's Charlotte with the win. 
This was a hard-fought, well-earned victory for him, Greg. They really had to work for this win. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, well, weaker teams might have buckled at the end with the crowd amped up, everyone in the building kind of rooting.